United States fleet at sea. Naval power in action. With the attack carrier as its nucleus, this fleet can hurl overwhelming military power to destroy a potential enemy. This is just one element of United States naval striking forces, which form a vast complex. and the ground-capturing power of the combat-ready Marine, supported by his tanks, artillery, and air power from the amphibious sea bases. This is a test of the ability of this formidable array to inflict unacceptable punishment upon the enemy. This test, this trial by doing, this operational readiness evaluation is the moment of truth that gives meaning to months of constant drill and exercise. This is the trial that gives final polish to the perfect blending of high-performance personnel with high-performance systems to form the keel of naval striking power. Imperative to this operational readiness evaluation is a demonstration of quick and decisive reaction to a wide variety of airborne threats. To simulate these threats requires a high-performance aerial target system that gives maximum challenge to offensive and defensive weapons. That target system is Fire Bee. The Fire Bee is a pilotless, turbojet-powered target aircraft that is guided by radio control. Highly maneuverable, the Fire Bee can maintain level flight in turns up to six Gs. After launch, Fire Bee is controlled by a remote control operator as it simulates an enemy threat. The Fire Bee is a near sonic target with a maximum speed of 550 knots. It is highly maneuverable and can fly as low as 50 feet and higher than 50,000 feet. Fire Bee has set a flight record of one hour and 54 minutes and has flown for 77 minutes above 50,000 feet. The target is recovered by a two-stage parachute system which lowers the Fire Bee to the surface where it is retrieved by helicopter or boat. Decontamination and refurbishment is accomplished to prepare the targets for further missions. This reusability makes the Fire Bee highly efficient. Fire Bee provides realistic simulation to challenge fleet defenses against high and low level air attack. Using its radar altimeter low altitude control system, RAILAX, Fire Bee simulates a low level attack penetration. Scoring systems within the target, telemeter missile accuracy to surface monitoring stations to verify weapon performance. By using a traveling wave tube, the Fire Bee can be made to appear as the smallest fighter or the largest bomber by varying its radar image electronically. Fire Bee provides maximum realism for the training of Navy fighter pilots. Equipped with an increased maneuverability kit, the target challenges the best in man and his equipment. Fire Bee is water launched to simulate the surface to surface missile threat. To give utmost realism in threat simulation, a formation flight system for the Fire Bee is under development at the Naval Weapons Center, China Lake, which will provide automatic airborne formation control of Fire Bees. Formation flight tests with two Fire Bees have been successfully flown at White Sands Missile Range. 
Ryan, in looking ahead to expanding Navy training requirements, has developed under Naval Air Systems contract a new generation of fire beams. The Fire B-2, or BQM-34E, which puts the Fire B target system in the supersonic regime. Ryan is now completing a flight test program for this new supersonic target system, which will expand the performance, operational flexibility, and threat realism of the subsonic BQM-34A. Fire B-2 uses existing BQM-34A systems, subsystems, components, and equipment wherever possible. It retains the equipment carrying capability and mission performance of the existing BQM-34A. It is air launched and ground launched. It is recovered with the same two-stage parachute system used in the subsonic fire bay and retrieved by helicopter. Decontamination and refurbishment after water recovery follow practices established for the BQM-34A. Fire B-2 is five feet longer and has a four foot narrower wingspan than the BQM-34A. There are no ailerons on the wing. The horizontal tail surfaces move collectively for pitch and differentially for roll control. For added endurance and more range time at subsonic speeds, 400 pounds of fuel is carried in a jettisonable external fuel tank. For the supersonic mission, fuel is carried internally. In this clean configuration, Fire B-2 flies at Mach 1.1 at 50 feet, Mach 1.8 at 50,000 feet, and Mach 1.5 above 60,000 feet. The new target has a maneuvering capability of 5 Gs up to 20,000 feet and 2 to 3 Gs at higher altitudes. Flight testing to demonstrate Fire B-2 performance is nearing completion at the Naval Missile Center Point Magoo. The new target system will be tested and evaluated by the Navy prior to entry into fleet service. Today, our nation is faced with a four-ocean challenge. The challenges we face are vital reasons for maintaining our fleets at peak operational readiness. Ryan is proud of its contribution to the readiness of our nation's naval defenses.